Hey guys, Future Mr. Klein here. So before we get started with our episode, uh, which is uh, part six of the, our six part series going from 2006 to 2020, so I wanted to let you know that in the meantime, after I recorded this actually in the summer of 2021, Hurricane Ida made landfall right after I posted episode five. So if you wanna know like any of like the quick information about that, I have a video and I'll post a link at the end of the episode. Uh, and in future date, I'll be heading down the ground Grand Island everywhere because it's like actually still closed to anybody but residents so we'll have that but anyway this episode episode 6 covers the hurricanes to strike Louisiana from 2006 to 2020 so we're going from the aftermath of Katrina and Rita into the 2020 season where not one not two but three hurricanes struck the state so I hope you enjoy it and away we go. So after 2005, Louisiana got a bit of a respite from major hurricanes, but that doesn't mean everything was calm. So Gustav in 2008 was a category four storm that had already tore through the Cayman Islands in Western Cuba, taking aim at Southeast Louisiana. With memories of Katrina and Rita fresh in their minds, nearly two million people from Southern Louisiana evacuated from the potential path of the hurricane. Gustav made landfall near Cocodri as a category two storm and dropped most of its rain on the central part of the state. Really with almost two Two feet being recorded in spots. Two weeks later, Hurricane Ike continued the trend of monster storms entering the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 4 hurricane before weakening. So while it did make landfall near Galveston, Texas, the storm packed a massive storm surge like a Category 5 storm, repeating the storm surge flooding on the South Louisiana coast seen with Hurricane Rita in 2005. In 2008, things calmed even further. In 2012, Hurricane Isaac struck Port Fouchon as a Category 1 storm. Nate nicked the Delta on its way to Gulfport as a Category 1 in 2017. And Barry was the last storm to strike in 2019, briefly becoming a Category 1 hurricane as it made landfall at Marsh Island before continuing northward. The state thought 2005 was a year to remember for hurricanes. 2020 even exceeded those experiences. 31 total cyclones, all but one received the name, 14 hurricanes, seven considered major, and eight hurricanes made landfall in the United States alone. There were so many strong hurricanes with Greek letter names meriting their names being retired. The World Meteorological Organization created an auxiliary list of names to use instead after the original list would run out. Laura was the first storm to strike the state and it equaled the last island hurricane of 1856 as the strongest storm to make landfall in Louisiana. So Laura was a relatively weak storm as it passed over the islands of the Caribbean, but its final landfall was initially uncertain due to Hurricane Marco, which was churning around in the Gulf at the time. Fears that the two storms would interact due to the Fujiwara effect did not come to pass and Marco dissipated, but not before its remnants passed over the Mississippi Delta. What Marco what Marco did do, however, was push Laura further to the west and into much warmer waters in the Gulf of Mexico. So this enabled rapid intensification, which transformed Laura into a Category 4 storm with 150 mile sustained winds. Now, unlike previous hurricanes, Laura did fail to weaken as it approached land and struck the coast just below peak strength. The storm continued inland and just missed Lake Charles here with this city experiencing 130 mile an hour wind gusts which were so strong that the National Weather Service's radar was actually destroyed by the storm. As day broke and Laura sped northward, Lake Charles residents woke up to a nightmare. Nearly 100% of all homes in this area received damage. Buildings were demolished. The TV station's broadcast tower had collapsed on the studio, and the Capital One tower here had hundreds of windows blown out. A fire at a chlorine plant in West Lake across the river required a shelter-in-place order and gave news crews perhaps the most symbolic footage of 2020. The thick black smoke of the fire providing the backdrop for the Isla Capri Casino unmoored from its docks, lodged underneath the I-10 bridge, considered by many to be one of the most obsolete and dangerous bridges in the nation. The storm surge reached 17 feet at Rutherford Beach in Cameron Parish, and the combination of it and the high winds at landfall obliterated coastal Cameron Parish, leading officials to wonder whether there would be another exodus of residents unwilling to rebuild again after another catastrophic storm. Most of Southwest Louisiana remained without power for weeks, and even nearly a year later, Lake Charles still shows signs of Laura's damage. Only six weeks after Laura came Hurricane Delta, which formed in the Western Caribbean and became a hurricane over 
only 12 hours after becoming a tropical storm. Delta reached its maximum of intensity of 140 miles an hour in only 40 hours from its creation, the fastest ever in the Atlantic Basin. So after passing over to Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 2 hurricane, it restrengthened into a Category 3 until it reached the cooler waters that were still in the Gulf after Laura passing. Delta made landfall with 110 mile an hour sustained winds less than 10 miles from Laura's landfall site. Unlike Laura, Delta veered to the northeast, slashing through western Acadiana, giving the region more damage than they had experienced with Laura. While that may have spared Lake Charles of the worst damage, it was still enough to rip tarps from roofs and undo parts of the recovery effort that was just beginning there. Like Laura, Delta's storm surge was less than expected, though still large, with eight feet of water found at the freshwater docks in Vermilion Parish. Southeast Louisiana had largely dodged the fury of the 2020 hurricane season, but their luck ran out with Hurricane Zeta, which struck in late October. Zeta followed largely the same track as Delta through Mexico and into the Gulf, but with less development. However, once into the Gulf, it rapidly strengthened and made landfall as a Category 3 major hurricane in Cocodri with 115 mile an hour winds. Zeta's high forward speed limited the damage to the area to an extent and also limited the storm surge to 6 to 10 feet in Plaquemines Parish. And that leaves us here in 2021. So in this series, we've examined about 60 hurricanes that have struck the state, some with really long lasting consequences. While in the past 50 years, the number of hurricane strikes may not have changed much, but the series of major hurricanes that have laid ruin to major population and industrial areas can't be ignored. And now even tropical storms pose the threat of widespread catastrophic flooding. Louisiana now faces a series of difficult choices in trying to limit the damage of storms while trying not to worsen the precarious situation of its vanishing coastline, and all the while balancing the economic and social interests of the citizens. And on top of all this is the tricky question of who will pay for the tens of billions of dollars necessary to complete these projects. No matter what's going to happen, Mother Nature will keep on sending hurricanes our way, so it's up for us to deal with them.